If you don't have a driver's license like Shane, here's a car you can drive. Samurai Jack is making a comeback. Don't go anywhere, I'll be reading your comments. Hello, welcome back to another episode of MLM Monday Law Ins with Michelle where I share with you all the latest tech news from last week. Before I start, here's a word from our sponsor. Acer Malaysia introduces the brand new Game Ready Nitro 5 powered by a quad-core AMD Ryzen 7 3750H processor and the latest NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 GPU. So affordable at only 2,999 ringgit, you can buy two, one for you and one for your wife. Since now got health risk everywhere, you should probably stay home and game on. It is official. Due to the worsening of the COVID-19 pandemic, the restrictive movement control is in effect in Malaysia since last Wednesday, March 18th, and it will be going on until the end of the month. Calling all PC gamers and enthusiasts, while you are staying at home keeping yourself safe, there is something you can do about the pandemic right now. Basically, you are donating your computer's power for the benefit of mankind. No matter if you are bang someone with a RTX 2080 Ti or a Rakia Marian with a 750 Ti, you can all contribute. Simply download the software and leave your PC to run while you're not using it. To find out more, head on to their website, foldingathome.org. Folding at Home is a distributed computing project that gathers the computing power of users' computers to perform tasks that require a lot of computing power. In this case, it is used for disease research that simulates protein folding, computational drug design, and other types of molecular dynamics. Research projects include studies on breast and kidney cancer as well as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. But recently, they have shifted the focus on the SARS coronavirus 2 that's causing the COVID-19 pandemic. We will explain everything you need to know about COVID-19 in our next episode of Technically, so stay tuned! Normal tablets are too flat and mainstream for you? Folding laundry calms you down? Well, get yourself the brand new Huawei Mate XS foldable tablet! Mm -mm -mm. The device has a 6.6-inch screen when folded and 8-inch full display when unfolded. The 4,500 mAh battery capacity is massive compared to the 3,046 mAh on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The device comes with a Kirin 990 5G octa-core processor built on a 7nm plus technology and comes with 8GB RAM and 512GB of internal storage space with an external storage of up to 256GB. As usual, Huawei packed multiple powerful cameras with different lenses. It boasts a 40 megapixel wide angle, a 60 megapixel ultra wide, and an 8 megapixel telephoto plus a 3D depth sensing camera. These cameras adopt the best aspects from the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and P30 Pro, so you are definitely not going to be disappointed. This Super Atas device has a Super Atas price tag too at 11,111 ringgit. Super Atas, cheap buy! This baby is available for purchase, and if paying 5 digits is too much for you, Lazada now offers an installment plan where you pay 930 ringgit per month only. Super cheap, must buy! Mont Blanc, known for its luxury pants and watches that all the rich Thai Thais buy for their rich datoks, is debuting its first ever smart. Headphones that will add a proper bling to your ears. These over-the-ears wireless noise cancelling MBO ones will start at $595. Catering to male travelers like Shane with a lot of moolah and super expensive taste. These Mont Blanc headphones come in three colors, brown, black, and gray, and are crafted with aromatic sheep leather. Job. What aromatic? You got smell on headphones on man? Yeah. And what if you're vegan? How? Anyways, they added a bunch of nice little touches like a silver aluminum frame for the black and grey models and a gold one for the brown variant. It charges with USB-C and supports multi-point connections in case you want to have simultaneous connection to two devices. They have also included a USB-C to 3.5mm cable in case you're old school like that. The controls of the headphones are pretty simple. Located on the silicone shell of the right ear cup is a play pause button a button to toggle active noise cancelling, a button to activate Google Assistant, an on-off switch, and a volume rocker. They also have proximity sensors that automatically pause or play music. I will take physical controls over the sometimes error-prone touch-based controls. The MBO ones, they look good and they seem comfortable. What do you think? Would you spend 3,000 ringgit on a wireless noise cancelling headphones from a brand that has no experience in making them? Let me know. 
If you thought Samurai Jack was so 2017, you should get with the times, man. Jack is back in a brand new game, Samurai Jack Battle Through Time, announced on February 25th. Not only does the game follow Jack's journey after the ending of Season 5, you will also be able to relive all his greatest adventures throughout Season 1 to Season 5. The legendary Phil Lamar that voiced Jack in the entire animated series will be back in this game as well. According to official sources, Jack will only be using his sword, he can also also equip and master over a dozen different weapons in combat. This means that you'll be able to define your own playstyle. Judging from the trailer, it seems that the game will closely follow the original art style. If you're a fan of the series, this will definitely feel like home. Now, who is ready to fight Samurai Michelle? Okay, now. Citron launched a tiny electric car known as Ami that even a kid without a driver's license can drive. Wait, are you sure that's a good idea? Well, it's only priced at 6,600 USD. Yeah! Yeah! This two-seater Ami is barely a car. In fact, Citron refers to it as a non-conformist mobility object. It is powered by an 8-horsepower electric motor and the fastest it can go is 45 km per hour. As it is super safe, many European countries treat it like a four-wheeled scooter, which is why kids as young as 14 years old in France or 16 years old in many other European countries can drive without a license. With an adorable plastic body and four tiny 14-inch wheels, it is built with very few parts. For instance, the right door is exactly the same as the left door, which means the driver's side door hinge is at the front while the passenger's side door hinge is at the back. The inside of the car is very minimal with a mobile phone holder, cup holder, and steering wheel. Also, no air conditioning! It doesn't even have a physical dashboard. To access a dashboard, you will need to install the car's app into your phone, and it will display things like driving range and and navigation. Since it is a lightweight car for city use, the Ami has a range of only about 70 km per charge, but it can be fully charged in only 3 hours using a household electrical outlet. Citron will start to take orders for the Ami in France on March 30th, and I don't think Malaysia will bring in this 4 wheeled scooter because Malaysia the bully deal with no aircon! Panas la bro! <sighs> Finally, commence time! Shake! 3,000 years later Jason Lowe I would never buy Razer mouse after two of my deaf adders suffered double clicks in less than two years each Dark mode Always have and always will use dark mode in all apps Gamer bit I think we can buy this to prepare for the COVID-19 lockdown in the future Oh no, what mouse do you use now then? And yeah bro, the bit would have been great for a lot of us during the lockdown But we are Malaysians, we all have creative ways to be lazy Instead of investing in a near to 1k USD bit Anyway, next, Ian Lee. I had terrible reliability issues with Razer products. Oh no, what brand do you use now? Let me know. I personally am using Logitech. Logitech forever. Melvin VP. Must be single if you want a gaming bed. Well, he's saying you have to be single if you want a gaming bed because in my previous MLM episode, I talked about this gaming bed that comes in single size only. I guess there's a reason to this because if they come out with a double bed, there's only two outcomes. Either your partner will become a very, very angry partner or you are gonna influence your partner to become a gamer. What? Either way, both looks bad. No, it doesn't make sense. Suharo so, Krisato, what are your thoughts on PC gamers using IKEA furniture? I tend to be the type that focuses on individual items and also uniqueness of a piece. This is not something that IKEA is known for. Their furniture is all mass produced. And yeah, so their concept doesn't really gel well with my idea of slow living. Okay, that's all for today. And before I go, I just want to remind all of you to drink a lot of water and take care of yourself. Stay indoor if possible because remember, you are not only responsible for your own health but also responsible for those who live under the same roof as you. This is Monday Lawrence with Michelle. See you in the next episode. Bye! It is official. Due to... Oh my god, my tongue.